All right, this time on a beautiful map, Dunhero, a 1v1 matchup between me and the real Mel Gibson in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22. And we get to play the Gondor faction once again. Holy moly, guys, we get Gondor quite often lately, almost every single time. But it's okay, I cannot complain, I like Gondor a lot. Okay, so we need to wall check eventually, but I want to start with a blacksmith inside my castle. And recruit Hobbit, Peregrine and Took. It's an evil faction, which is a good matchup for the opening player because it's a good map. Dunhero is a good map for the evil factions. Okay, so early on we need to try. I mean, the reason why this is a good matchup for the evil faction is because the map is so big for me to be able to reach the opposite side of the map, you know, without being interrupted, pretty much. And the evil faction, Mordor or Isengard, they will get the chance to protect this no problemo. So I believe that's the reason why I will be trying to creep at least to get a faster stable up on the field. So let's get this settlement. Hopefully it's not Isengard. Uh, Isengard will be there quite fast. Let's get this settlement right after that. And now we will creep, hopefully. Oh, it's Isengard, dude. No! <laughs> Look how fast they are, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. The Uruks, they are coming so fast. Now I need to use the Alvin Wood kind of defensively. And need to fight for the settlement. Yeah, I need to use it, boys. That's not the best case scenario. Hopefully, we will be able to creep at least. That's going to be better than nothing. But normally, this settlement should be ours. You know what I'm saying? And now, as we are talking, the enemy Isengard player has like three settlements under his control, which will remain being untouched for a really long time. And that's the main weakness of the Gondor faction early on, you know? Because as Gondor, you have only two starting units. And you don't start with a barracks early on, because you cannot afford it. And for that reason, it's very hard on big maps like Toonhero to be able to fight for the map control early on. Oh my goodness, man. He actually doesn't want to let me pass. So we need to kind of... Oh, he's using War Chant. Bail, 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 bail. We gotta fight on the Alvin Woods, which will, you know, nullify enemy leadership bonuses and also grant us additional armor. Let's build one more farm inside the castle. And now we will be saving up for a stable. But he's also pressuring my farm already, man. Oh, boys, that's not looking good for your boy. That's not looking good. Look... I mean, the good thing is we have now a level 2 soldier battalion. That's pretty nice. And now the Hobbit Peregrine Took has to be used for defensive purposes. But I think he won't be there in time. Also, this fight is going to be lost. But we have a stable coming up. So we need the Gondor Knights on the field as soon as possible. We will be losing both of these farms eventually. Which is not a good start. Because losing farms for Gondor early on actually is very painful because the Gondor Knights, unlike the Rohirrim, are extremely expensive, so you heavily rely on the food bonus you will get from the farms. Okay, so let's try to creep this one, maybe with the soldiers, they are level 2, they should be able to creep that, hopefully we will be able to recruit at least one Gondor Knight cheap for 640, come on, come on, come on, before we lose the second farm, come on, nice. Okay, so we won't be able to creep this either <laughs> because he has Uruks literally everywhere. And remember, the Uruks, they are the fastest swordsmen in the game. So running away from them is not an option. So we gotta we gotta stand and fight. Luckily, our soldiers are level 2. They should be able to win the 1v1 situation unless the Isengard player decides to use War Chant. Oh, don't buy this settlement. Don't buy this settlement, please. What my... Oh my goodness, my, my Hobbit was kind of confused. Oh, I'm playing so... I'm so rusty, guys. I'm telling you, I'm so rusty. I have not a good feeling about this game. But I will be uploading that regardless to the YouTube channel. Just because you guys always ask him, asking me, Shanks, upload please replays when you're losing. This might be the one, boys. This might be the one. Because our start was really bad. Okay, so the Alvin Wood is reloading quite soonish. We need more Gondor Knights, but look how expensive they are now. They cost 680 each because we have only... Uh, one single farm outside, which is really bad for us. But our Hobbit is doing a good job defending this, no problemo. And now we can draw this sword and kill some Lumber Mill workers. And he has also lots of Uruks around this side. Let's use the shield wall and fight this. Let's destroy this mill to get it back under our control. And the second Gondonite need to be used to creep this 
I mean, the first of all, of course, we need to destroy the lumber mill, but then we need to creep as soon as possible. Let's go. Onward. Forward. They're attacking. Nice. In Battle for Middle of One, the map control is the key to victory. So in order to be able to win your matches, you need to always keep focusing on the map control in the early game, mid game, but also in the late game. Because as long as you can keep the resource income quite high, you can also afford making mistakes. Because then you will have money to replace the units you are losing, replace the heroes you are, or you know, revive the heroes you are losing. Long story short, make sure that you have the majority of the map under your control. So let's now try to deal as much damage as potentially possible. And uh, very soon the Isengard player will start recruiting multiple pikemen and our Gondor Knights are gonna become more or less useless. Okay, so we are actually able to destroy the mill. I was expecting the pikes already being on the field, but that's not the case, at least not for now. Let's buy this settlement. We are recovering slowly but surely. And uh, let's buy this. Okay. Let's creep this in the meantime. And we can also try to creep offensively, because what I would like to get without the heal from the Spellbook of Gondor, I would love to go for the, um, for the Ranger allies, for the additional DPS against the pikemen. Okay, let's creep this. Let's get the money. Okay, be careful there with the Gondor Knights. And uh, we can now also creep this Goblin layer right after that one. And, you know, look, he was not creeping anything just yet. So we can creep quite a lot. We need a third Gondor Knight. Because it's a huge map and we will need to be active, you know? Always put pressure on the Isengard. Let's buy this farm. Okay. I want to put him actually inside the Ruin Tower. This way we can get a lot of vision control around the top right side, which is always nice. And there we go. Yeah, as expected, ladies and gentlemen, the Isengard player now has <laughs> Pikemen on the field. And now the disaster, the nightmare begins for Gondor. We have two power points collected. We need only one more. Let's creep this Warclay maybe at the top right side if we can. On the, on the bright side, we are creeping a lot. And we have now a full base. We will definitely start getting upgrades now, like Forge Blades and also the Night Shields from the Sable level 2. And we can look... Oh, he was creeping this one. I was not paying attention. I could have stolen the money, but it's okay. I think I cannot fight this. I mean, I, mean, I can now with the with the Elven Woods, but without that, it would be dangerous. Let's creep. I mean, let's destroy. Get the money. Okay. Oh, he has pikemen also around the bottom side. Oh, man. Okay, we can creep this one at least. That's pretty nice. Creep, creep, creep. Okay, so... Um, I guess it's not looking too bad. We can now buy the shields. Oh, be careful. And always pay attention to your Gondor Knights, guys. Losing them is always painful. And we have not a great amount of resource income as we are talking. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So, let's recover up a little bit and wait for the upgrades to be purchased. And we can look for a base rush. Because we have almost the power points we need for the Ranger Summon. But he has Warc Riders. Of course, I forgot about that. And yeah, unlike Elvin summoned from the Rohan faction, the Ranger summoned from the Gondor faction is very vulnerable against, um, against the trample of the horses or of the Warg Riders. Okay, let's lure the troll actually inside the uh, Lamry Mill and then we can go away and creep the lair. This way we can get more money and also more power points. I think that's going to be enough to unlock the Ranger allies. Look what he's doing. You see that? He's placing multiple pikemen around the area to block the pathway entirely. We gotta make something happen, boys, now. Now or never. So we need to deal as much damage as we potentially can with the Grey Company Special Summon. Yes, pikemen. And I wish we had Elven Wood in a situation like that, you know, but it's, it's okay. And there comes a trample. We need to kind of body block this a little bit if we can. Try to keep the Vorks distracted as we are focusing down um, the pikes with the rangers. And he has also used Warchan. His Vorks are stronger than our Gondor Knights because the, wa the Warchan is more effective than the Forge Blades only. We have no heavy armor yet. We have only the, the Night Shields, which is only making us stronger against arrows. So the, the rush, unfortunately, is not going to be that successful. But he has an Uruk pit in the front side. Maybe we can destroy the Uruk pit. If we can take down the Uruk pit, that will be actually huge. Uh, we have no heal. I don't want to lose any of these Gondor Knights. Please, please. Focus, focus, focus. 
Be careful with the Gondonite, level 3. Okay. Can we get out? Oh, if we can get out from this situation, it would be so beautiful. Oh, nice. Nice, boys. Let's go. That's huge. And he's also not paying attention around the bottom side. We are killing his Varix. Now we have enough power points for the heal from the spell book too. It looks now much, much, much better for us. Oh boy, man. He has actually even pikemen around, <laughs> around my base, you know. I think we will need to recruit uh, some soldiers now from the barracks to counter the pikemen. Hey, 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 please, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay. But that was close, but not close enough. Calculate it. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to recruit Boromir. You know, with Boromir, I can kill this pikeman and then we will make the transition into the barracks. However, remember he has war riders on the field. That means every time he sees the Gondor soldiers from us, he might come with the war riders and trample them down. Okay, we gotta be careful. Uh, maybe he's not paying attention. Okay, he was not paying attention indeed. Oh, be careful. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> what? what is going on? Stop it. Stop it. Did I lose one of them? I... Uh, okay, no, no. Okay, we didn't lose a full battalion, but that was, that was painful, man. We gotta close the gate, boys, and build a post and get now. Boromir is gonna be joining the battlefield very, very soon. We cannot afford to build a battle tower yet. And it's not looking good for your boy, boys. I mean, the pikes, one single pikeman in front of the castle is putting so much pressure. Hey, man, uh, Larifari, thanks for the follow, appreciate that. Hope you're gonna enjoy your stay. Okay, so, uh, we gotta, we gotta be fast, you know. We have now full upgrades, we have the shields, we have the heavy armor, we have the forge blades, so we are as strong as the Gondor Knights can become. And let's go for another base rush. We need to avoid fighting this pikeman. We cannot fight them, but what we can do is build a barracks now and recruit additional soldiers. And maybe he's not paying attention and he might feed us a lot when he is not uh, disengaging our soldiers with the pikeman. So let's now rotate, micro around. Um, bottom is on the field, but there are no pikemen. Turn and kill the. Oh my goodness, he has so many pikemen on the field, man. He has so many pikemen on the field, boys. And our ranger summon is still on cooldown, so we gotta. Uh, we gotta be careful. Hey, be careful. You know what? I'm pretty tempted to actually buy the outpost at the bottom right side and build like three farms on it. Because we will need a lot of money in this situation, boys. Oh, he has pipe. He has Saruman too. Oh, be careful. Oh, fireball. Oh, my goodness, man. Now I cannot really rush the base, guys. I cannot really rush the base. I mean, yes, look how many pikemen he has. Do you see that? He's placing them right in front of the Uruk pit, so I cannot never take it down again. And he has also Saruman with pikemen around it. And every single tower is up on the field, so it's very hard for me to do anything in a situation like that. Paramir. I will allow you. Oh, he was even stealing. What am I doing? I'm so rusty, boys. Uh, he stole them. I mean, uh, he was warm tonguing our Gunner Knights, but they won't be there forever. So hopefully, I will be able to kind of save them. Like, this Saruman is annoying, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's buy this farm back. Boromir is almost level 4. That's going to be enough to unlock his leadership bonuses. Now we can try to fight for the map control and kill some pikemen with the Gondor soldiers. We have also Farami on the field. And the Hobbit is providing us with so much vision control. And actually, we got the Gondor Knights back now from the Wormsong. And it looks like we'll be able to save them without having to use the heal. That's good. I take it. I mean, he has so many Warcriders on the field. I think they will have also upgrades very soon. The Isengard player was rushing Saruman and not going for upgrades yet. But Saruman is, is you know, at least for, for us right now, as we are talking, almost impossible to, to take down. I mean, we will need Gandalf to be able to fight him. And he will not leave those soldiers alone. We can put pressure on him, though, with the Ranger Simon, maybe. Let's summon the Rangers. And let's try to deal as much damage as... Oh, he's also chasing my Faramir, but I will just, you know, ignore that and try to use warning arrow on, on Saruman, but he's running away. He's quite fast. And I will not be able to catch him. So I think we need to kill the pikemen now. And uh, Faramir can also shoot and assist them. Let's not trample. We have to go on the knights. Be careful. He's using Warchan too. They have heavy armor, if I'm not mistaken. But in the meantime, we are kind of able to fight for the map controller, control a little bit, you know? That's not bad. Should be able to win this fight eventually. But War Gratis with whole ability, heavy armor, and Warchan are so beefy. They are so tanky, you know? It's not easy to fight against them. Look how much they can absorb. 
Okay, let's buy the settlement back. And now we will need to try to save up for Gandalf. Maybe Gandalf can save us from this very uh, strange situation. I don't know if uh, we are able to do stuff, but Isengard is kind of camping it out. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard for me to commit against the Isengard castle with the Gondonites exclusively. Okay, so we will build three farms at the, bo at the bottom right side. That's very important. Let's demolish the barracks. I think it's kind of pointless to recruit more soldiers when he has so many war riders on the field. And just save up for, for Gandalf, you know, at this point. Boromi is almost level 4. He will get level 4 after killing this troll, if I'm not mistaken. We gotta peel, uh, bail back with the, with the Faramir. And because, you know... The ranges are going to be gone very soon. So let's build a blacksmith. Come on, Boromi, you can do it. Kill him. Get level 4. Unlock your leadership bonus. Okay, level 4 is unlocked. That's good. So we have, in total, right now, four farms outside. That's pretty nice. We can try to actually go for a trample against those combos. They have no armor yet, so we might make something happen. Let's use this. Batch formation. Oh, but here's Saruman. I didn't see him. We gotta use heal. I mean, we are so slow down now. Can we get away? Please move. I mean, when they are stuck like this, they cannot move, boys. It looks like we will not be able to save the battalion, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's too late. At least save the other one. So we lost one of, one of the Gundam Knights. That's pretty pain. Oh my goodness, man. What is up, last dude? Run. Run, please. Can I save you? Please. Run, you, run, you fool. Oh my goodness, if I lose this one, that's gonna be quite painful, man. That's over 2,000 resources you just lose like that, you know? Okay, it looks like the Palantir is off. That means we can hopefully be able to save them. And our money is also not looking too shabby. We have only, uh, you know, we need only one more thousand to be able to recruit Gandalf the Grey and turn him into the Gandalf the White. I mean, he's still chasing us, so we need to be careful. Uh, at the well, our units are going to be able to respawn, so it's fine. Now we can turn and fight, but it looks like he's paying attention and will get in safety. Oh, no. Oh, just like in the films, dude. Boromir got crippled down from Lourdes, and yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm rusty. I haven't seen that coming, guys. Let me tell you that much. I didn't see that coming. I can't do anything about the situation, but Gandalf maybe make something happen. I don't know the exact cooldown from the cripple, but he was crippling our Boromir. Let's hope that when Gandalf joins the battlefield that the cripple is not back up. That's our only hope, guys. And put always pressure on him, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said at the beginning of the game, map control is the key to victory. So regardless how bad it is looking, you always want to focus on the map control. That's very important. Because look at our money, though. Even though we lose stuff all the time, left and right, we have still so much money to be able to recover. So Gandalf the White is now on the field. I mean, I'm going to take a risk, guys. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to actually try to snipe his uh, Lourdes. If I can kill the Lourdes without Lourdes being able to cripple our Gandalf, we might make something happen. So I want to use Warning Arrow from um, Farami against Lourdes. And then also Easter Light. That's going to be enough to one-shot him. And hopefully, let's hope that he has no... Cripple. If he has cripple, it's pretty much GG. Oh, don't cripple. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta use Elvin Woods here. Uh, let's use Lightning Sword. I, can, I cannot save him. No, he's gonna die. Oh, he has even tainted land. He stole my Gondor Knights too. Oh, rest in peace, Gandalf. Holy moly, man. That's 6,000 wasted. That's not worth it, guys. I wanted to risk it, but I should have not done it. I should just not have done it. It's a big mistake. Uh, yeah. And we might also lose the Gunner Knight, so... Let's build a marketplace. I mean, I mean, Siege Works. Um, because we might, and we will definitely... Come, run, 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 run. Run! Okay, looks like we will be able to save the level 6. That's pretty nice. Don't die. Let's switch to the normal formation to make them more tanky. Was close, but not close enough. Um, okay, we will need some trebuchet because he will siege us very soon. It means we need some sort of defense, right? And also, um, I want to build up the uh, marketplace regardless for the grand harvest. That means we can also make sure that we have a great amount of resource income. We should be able to win this fight if he has no war chant. Uh, 
uh, yeah, we should be able to win this fight, if I'm not mistaken. But here's Pikes coming now. We can summon the Rangers. And at this point of the game, we need to try to fish as many power points as we potentially can. And the breaking point is going to be the Eagle's special summon. Yeah, we need Eagles, we need the Marketplace, and we need Gandalf back on the menu too. And as you can see, we keep focusing on the map control, we keep distracting him, and we keep buying ourselves more and more time, which is essential, because we need as much time as we potentially can get. It doesn't look good for us, we have not that much money, we have no Gandalf, we have not a strong defense, and if he comes to the base right now, we cannot defend. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, if this would be Alvin Morris, it would be a different story. But ranges are a bit weaker. That's that's okay though, because Condor is such a such a strong spellbook. You know, you have the chance later on to summon the Rohirrim. You have the chance to summon the Eagles, the Army of the Dead. So you have so many summons that it's okay when one summon is weaker than the summon from from uh, Rohan. Oh boy, here he comes. Maybe I can snipe him a little bit. Uh, let's get some more trebuchet on the field. Let's build some towers around the castle. And let's try to distract him. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to deal some damage to his beast. And let's try to kill some towers. Towers are able to give so many power points uh, if we can take them down. And it looks like Isengard is peeling back. Because he saw the trebuchet coming. And we won't be able to achieve too much. Let's get Grand Harvest. For 40% more money from the farms. And we are getting actually great shots. On the enemy combos we need only three more power points boys for the eagle summon and eagle summon is going to be great because then we can summon the eagles to kill his lords and saruman and then gandalf can clean up okay this guy actually has some ramps but i think they shouldn't be able to achieve too much is he gonna use war chant here yeah okay we need to build now but we can eventually beat them right with gandalf so let's beat them let's make them follow us and then we can use lightning sword with gandalf we can, we can kill the ram, if I'm not mistaken, before the ram is able to destroy the castle's wall with the trebuchet. And let's use lightning sword. There we go. Turn and fight now. Okay. And they have still the war chan. They are quite beefy and tanky. But we should be able to stall the fight long enough. I don't want to lose the gun knights, though. Is he paying attention? Okay, can cancel. Okay, nice. Okay, so at least we kind of won the fight. And he has no war chan anymore. We can re rebuild this stuff. The pikes are going to be able to take it down, but it's fine. We need less than three power points now for the Eagle Special Summon. But can we defend this? We need more trebuchet. We need Firestone. We need a miracle, boys. We need help. Help me. Gondor calls for eight. And where is Rohan? Where was, where was Rohan when Dunhero fell? Okay, so... I mean... <laughs> The problem is, my Gondor Knights and Gandalf can't really do much about the situation. So, what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna just leave the base as, as it is. Build some more towers around it. And in the meantime, I will try to rush the Isengard base and get, you know, get power points collected. That's what I'm aiming for. Because Lourdes is at the bottom side. It means Gandalf can do whatever he wants. We need Firestone now to make them hit like a truck. And keep going ham. Let's send the Gondor Knights first. This way they can absorb the damage. And you see that every furnace is almost level 3. That means the Isengard's base is very beefy and tanky. Let's build a trebuchet. Oh, what is my... Oh my goodness, I wasn't paying attention. Be careful. He has so many pikemen. Do you see how many pikemen he has inside the castle? That's crazy, my dude. But we are able to get power points left and right. Okay, uh... Two power points and even a bit less than that away from getting the Eagle Summon unlocked. And Eagle Summon is essential, by the way. We need to get the Eagle Summon unlocked to be able to fight. Because without Lourdes being dead, we cannot approach with our Gandalf. If we do, you know, he will get crippled down and we will lose him. I mean, now it's a it's a camp situation for us. Let's get some hits off on the, on the enemy combos. Maybe he's not paying attention. Let's buy this outpost too. And hopefully he's not paying attention to this side as well. Oh, but we are losing the trebuchet. That's painful. They are so expensive too. They cost 960 plus. You need to invest. And more than 300. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I had like right click on this one. You know what I'm saying? And he was just visa blasting some laminate workers. Hey, hey. Don't fireball it. Don't fireball it. Oh no, he fireballs it indeed. 
Oh, we just lost two trebuchets just like that. Oh, that's painful. That's over 2,000 we are losing. Oh, man. But luckily, Grand Harvest is giving us so much value. We need only one more power point for the Eagles. I mean, can we get it done in just in time? That's what I want to know. Boromir. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think Boromir cannot do much about the situation, but he is kind of tunnel vision focusing on the castle. That means we have now two outposts which will grant us so much additional money. We will summon the rangers. Oh, he's going ham, boys. He's going ham. Let's focus down them. The Saruman. I mean, I mean Lourdes, sorry. We gotta try to kill the Lourdes. Let's build more towers. And I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Let's use the Easter light on, on, on Saruman. Okay, he's gonna die. Now we have the eagle summon unlocked. Let's actually summon them right off the bat. Yes, oh, just heal. Um, I mean, we will eventually lose him, but I think after losing Gandalf, we can clean everything here. Zaplas, that was a nice one. Level 7 Gandalf, even though he's dying. We lost the Siege Wars, but it's fine. I think the War Gladys can do much more. And we are getting so many power points collected. We need like only six and a half more for our army of the dead. Let's kill the Lourdes, and we also were able to save only one single Gondor Knight, if I'm not mistaken. We need more Gondor Knights now. Our money is looking good, though. Look, I mean, take a look into the money. We have double outposts. We have, like, three, four farms outside. With Grand Harvest, we are getting a lot of value. We can now revive Ganda from the outposts. And with the Eagles, we can now destroy the outposts here. Okay, guys, so we got a lot of stuff done. I mean, we only lost Ganda in one single Gondor Knight in Boromir, unfortunately. In Faramir. So we actually lost quite a lot. But we also killed Saruman, Lourdes, and a lot of combos and a lot of war players. Okay, let's destroy this outpost with the Gondonite. It's level 8. Should be able to deal a lot of damage. Um, okay, so we need like 4 power points in a quarter for the army of the dead. And with the army of the dead, we can win this game. I hope. We need to wait for the city to be back up on the field. The city here has been taken down. Now we can destroy the rest. And yeah. Gets more and more Gondonites on the field. And once again, always keep focusing on the map control. Now he's able to see this. We might lose the outpost after that, but it's fine. Because we can reclaim it later on, no problem. Oh yeah, he has still many, many war riders on the field. And even pikemen. And we have really not a big answer to this Pikeman spam. And because we have no archers. But we might also build archer range eventually, right? So archer range uh, to be able to get a greater defense. I mean, we have so many broken... <laughs> Look, our base, you know. Our Gondor base is looking like a Mordor base now. Parami has to be recruited once again. The outpost is going down slowly but surely. We need Gandalf back on the menu, boys. And we need more Gondor Knights. We need actually a lot of stuff. I mean, hopefully, I mean, he also needs to recover, right? He needs to, you know, kind of get his Saruman back on the field. He needs to get his Lourdes back on the field. And that should buy us enough time to get our own heroes back on the field and also to recover a little bit economically. I mean, this game is looking tough. Uh, I don't know if he can still win that one. I don't know how close he is for the Balrog Summon. If the Balrog Summon is going to happen before our EOD Summon, then we are doomed and we can just, you know, surrender the game. But maybe if we get the chance to get EOD unlocked before he gets the chance to unlock his Balrog Summon, we might still be able to win this game. And for that reason, let's try to fish as many power points as we potentially can during all this time. I'm very worried about my base. That's why we need to build some archers or recruit some archers rather. Because our base is like an evil faction base, so it's like open. And enemy units can enter freely whenever they want. And for that reason, we need to build some walls, uh, build some towers and trebuchet and arches to be able to protect it. And also he's demolishing everything in time to deny us the power points. Maybe he knows, I mean, he definitely knows that we are close to the... Uh, to the... Army of the Dead Summon, Farami is back on the menu, Gandalf is back on the menu, and with the Hobbits now, we can actually reclaim the top right outpost, and once again build some farms on it. Because the farms here at the bottom right side are level 3 now, and they are giving us so much money. We can fight this no problem, we are level 9, so level 9 Gondor Knights, they crush everything. Let's bring in Gandalf, looks like he doesn't pay attention, he will lose this fight. 
There's so many pikemen. Okay, um, but I don't see lords. That means I have the chance to make something happen. So we killed the Vault Riders. That's pretty nice. And let's go for a Wizard Blast. Is he paying attention? Yes, he's paying attention. But we can actually put pressure on him now. Because Lourdes is not there, right? So we can do whatever we want. Okay, let's use Easter Lights on the pikemen. Oh no, 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 no. Lourdes is there. Run, 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 run. Oh no. Guys. Oh man. I'm so sorry, guys. My Gandalf isn't on point today. I mean, I lost my thing like three times now. That's gonna be the third time if I'm not... Or maybe the, the four times. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. My Gandalf, dude. This Lord is annoying. I mean, I can use heal to delay his death, but the cripple duration is just too long and I won't be able to survive that. Oh, man. Imagine me not losing my Gandalf every single time. But I have so much money. Look our money. Do you see our money, guys? We have over 4,000 once again. Let's build some more defense. Let's get Gandalf back on the menu. I mean, we are investing so much. I mean, we, we spent more than 10,000 so far for Gandalf. Oh, he's coming, boys. He's coming, boys. Run, Faramir. Run, run. Oh, Warcliris, Saruman, Lourdes. Lots of combos. Pikemen. What else do you need? But we have... Actually, we have a great defense. We have lots of trebuchet around the wall. And, uh, yeah, we might get the power points we need. Eventually for the for the EOD summon. Hopefully. Because now we are broke. Um let's destroy this. Okay. Lords, we might kill him. Kill please, Lords. P Faramir. Don't die. Okay, give them Firestone too. We can summon the Eagles, but I don't want to summon the Eagles yet because the Eagles are gonna be blown away from the combos the second they get spo special summon. Let's buy the outpost here. We can, so let's keep moving on. Let's not lose the Gunner Knights. Um <laughs> We need a little bit more, boys. A little bit more. One more, one power point in a quarter. That's all we need. Farm, farm, farm. For more and more and more money. Oh, we are losing the base, though. It, come on, now. Half a power point only. Come on. Come on. I don't want to summon the Eagles yet. I want to actually summon the EOD here. Oh, man. We are losing the base, guys. The base is falling apart. I'm literally trying to get as many power points collected as I potentially can. They are really close for the army of the dead. Come on, we can... Oh my god, the knights! They have no heal. But now we have AOD. Okay, let's summon the AOD. Please, please, please. Okay. We can now kill Saruman and Lords and combos. And that's gonna... That means the game isn't over yet. The game isn't over yet, guys. We can now push him back with the eagle summon eventually and try to make something happen. And we have also now the chance to summon the Rohirrim allies, okay? Okay, we lost one of the Gundam Knights, unfortunately, but it's okay. I mean, losing the main castle would be much more painful. That's fine. And we have again double outposts with lots of farms outside. And Gandalf is back on his, you know, on his shadow facts very, very soon. Fire arrows for greater DPS on his archers. And I'm, I'm gonna summon actually the Rohirrim allies here to be able to protect the outposts. Yeah, I don't want to lose the outpost. And I believe there is only one single uh, Warc Rider, right? Let's recover first, but we need to wait for the city to be back up. And yeah, um, destroy this. Call the Rohan and also the Eagles. Um, because, you know, I mean, maybe it's a bad idea when I think about it. Maybe we should have not done it because if we feed them... Uh, he might also get the Balrog Summon unlocked. Remember the evil factions like Isengard and Mordor, they are able to get power points from losing stuff. Especially Isengard, when you lose Saruman, you will get so many power points. So he lost Saruman twice, he lost Lourdes twice, and I believe only from losing them twice, and he also killed my Gandalf three times, so he actually got a lot of power points. He needs to be very close for the Balrog Summon. Okay, we need to recover the base, build blacksmiths in a well, and get more Gondor Knights on the field at the same time. The Eagles, they are dealing a lot of damage to the War Paris. That's pretty nice. But they are dying. <laughs> That's what it is. They are dying, and we are actually feeding him so many more power points. Gandalf is back on the menu, though. That's pretty nice. We have also now three outposts. From, you know, there are four outposts in total on the map to Nero, and we have three of them. We need... Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I mean... <laughs> 
I don't know if he can actually destroy our castle. If he can, it's still fine for us because we have still outposts and we have a lot of money. So we can hopefully be able to buy it back. But it's still painful to invest that much money into the into the castle, of course. Um, I mean, we can... we can. I don't want to watch that, you know what I'm saying? I want to just focus on the map in the meantime. But also, he's paying attention. This guy is also crazy micro, man. He's microing his Balrog and also paying attention around his pikemen. And this Balrog is actually doing doing a lot of work here for the Isengar player. Is that plus time, maybe? And we don't need to, I guess. We can just fight this, no problemo. Okay. So we have ranger summon available, and I believe we need to wait now for the next EOD summon. And when we have the next army of the dead summon, we will be, we will be summoning them. I can't even talk, sorry. Pretty stressful game. Then we will, we will be summoning the EOD inside the enemy castle. And combine it with the Rohan summon and the Eagle summon. And then we will have also lots of Gondonites, hopefully, to be able to finish the castle of Isengard with one single big push. We must stay together. I mean, I wish I wouldn't have lost my Gandalf this many times, you know? That was painful. But Lourdes is such a counter, and every time we see him, we have no choice but running away. Gandalf is taking so much damage, he's actually focusing my Gandalf with all of his towers. So he's like, do you guys see that? He was right-clicking individually with every single structure that can shoot and right-click on, on my Gandalf. But we have heal from the spell, but we should be fine. He's microing around, look at him, guys. This guy doesn't want to feed us. Do it, Gandalf. Oh, he's microing around once again. Oh, this guy. Come on, man. I want to get my Gandalf level 10. Don't play that good. I mean, my Gondor Knights are bad damage now since like 15 minutes. But it looks like the beast it didn't fall. That, that's pretty nice for us, the castle. The outpost at the top right side is going down, though. But we lost the Marketplace. And Marketplace is a building from the Gondor faction that has to be on the field if you want to be able to keep the upgrades active. That's why we need to replace the marketplace definitely as soon as possible. I mean, <laughs> look our castle, you know what I'm saying, guys? We have like, uh, you know, so we don't need a gate. We don't need a post gate because there are so many ways of entering the castle. Not only for us, but also for the opening player. So it's not it's not the best situation. So we need to just be patient at this point and just wait for the, for the uh, you know, for the army of the dead to be back on the field. And uh, during all this time, we need to recruit more and more Gondonites. And then, well, like I said, you know, we need to make sure that the one single push is going to do the magic trick. The Wargs are so strong, man. It's so hard for, for me to kill one of them with the Ranger Summon. Oh, be careful. Oh my, guys, did you see that? I almost killed my Gandalf with the own trebuchet. Okay, okay, just peel back, just peel back, and, you know, get more and more and more and more Gondor Knights in the meantime. EOD is almost back up. We are rebuilding the marketplace, and we have still double outposts under our control, which is pretty good. Uh, we lost the one at the top right, but it's fine. And we also need to keep those arches on top of the wall, just for the, for the worst case scenario. You know, hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. We must be ready. Let's go. Okay, my rangers are gunners, but it's okay. And they have done a lot. They were able to defend the outpost. And now we have, I believe, in total like five gunner knights. And now it's the, it's the time to make a move. So by the time we arrive at the top left side in the castle of Isengard, I believe our EOD summon, our army of the dead summon, should be almost back up. And then we can make something happen. Okay, some pikemen, we need to... I don't want to summon anything here. Faramir, you go there, my friend, with one archer. And try to defend this, please. Go. Go Faramir and show your quality. Okay, so the good thing is, um, by the time our EOD is back up, we will also get each... There is still a troll creep. Let's creep this one. Easter delight. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like we, have, like, we are 30 minutes plus in the game and the troll creep is still remaining on the field. Nobody cares about this troll. Five power points collected. We need only two more for the cloud break and that would mean we have all the power points unlocked from the spellbook of Gondor. Let's destroy the outpost first. And we can also repair this, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, why not? We have so much money, we can do whatever we want. Okay, EOD is back up. Okay, guys, so hopefully the one push is going to do the trick for us. And we will be able to win this game. Oh, it was a rough game, dude. It was really a rough game, boys. You have seen how close the game was. We have almost lost. I mean, 
To be honest with you, after the first time I lost Gandalf, after he joined the battlefield and we killed Lords, but Lords was able to cripple us. I just wanted to say GG and leave. But that's a proof. Never give up and never surrender. There is always hope. AOT and Rohan. We can visa plus them, no problemo. Boom, kind of nice job. And where is Lourdes? I think he's hiding his Lourdes. I don't know where Lourdes and Saruman are. I think it's a smart move from him. You know, he knows what I'm up to and he want to hide his Lourdes. That means, you know, when, when, when I see Lourdes, obviously I will just kill the Lourdes with my army of the dead summon. But he's hiding his Lourdes. That's, oh, there he comes. Okay, okay, I see you. But I'm going to just summon the Eagles because that's the power of Gondor in late game. The, the additional summons you have with Gondor are the best. So Lourdes is gonna die before he can make it to my Gandalf. Seven power points collected. Let's use the Cloud Break to stun the War Gliders. That's good. We gotta kill also the, the Saruman. He's gonna die to my Eagles anyway. Okay, it's fine. Uh, let's use Easter Light. Let's make sure to finish off the entire castle as soon as possible. He has so many War Gliders on the field. That's a lot. We gotta heal Gandalf to make sure that he's healthy. Now we can visa plus the, uh, the pikemen. And then, because we have so much money, we can just buy the castle the second we destroy it. Because he won't be defeated yet. Remember, he has outposts, you know? Okay, so... Go, Gandalf. Buy the, buy, the, buy the castle. Our eagles are killing so much stuff. In the meantime, there is nothing that can shoot at them. And boom, we have the castle now. He, oh, he has still many, many pikemen coming out of nowhere. Let's summon the rangers to kill them. Oh, he has Balrog summon. Really? He killed his own pikemen, just demolished the city and run out. Because I don't want my Gandalf to be present. You know what I'm saying? Inside the castle. So I can run away. <laughs> I, I know what he's up to. He want to kill my Gandalf, guys. But no, no, no. I lost my Gandalf enough times tonight. And that's going to be the last time I'm losing him. Trust me. Look at him, boys. He's chasing us. You know, he's like, <laughs> you shall not pass moment. Okay, but Gandalf get one shotted from Balrog. If he fire whips us, we will get one shotted. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, look at him, boys. He's he's on the hunt. He wanna, he wanna chase us. But no, no, no. Can't touch this. Did it, did it, did it, did it. <laughs> okay. I think we got this one, boys. All we gotta do is destroy the one remaining outpost, and then it should be GG. But Balrog is still remaining on the field, so we need to be careful. Run, Farami, I don't want you to die either. Farami, run, run, run. Okay. Um. Oh, he has still one more. Oh, he used fire. Whip. Okay, now Gandalf, go, go, go. Gandalf, now you can you can fight him. The fire whip is the big. Oh, he's even using breath fire on the poor. Faramir. Hey, what did Faramir... Oh, no. He's actually gone already. Okay, now that makes way more sense. Uh, for Faramir, you know what I'm saying? You know, why would you kill somebody who's just here to, you know, in Battle for Middle-earth games to make his daddy Denethor proud? Okay, we actually repaired all the all the walls too, man. That's so good, man. And that's the proof, God, well, you know, guys, that map control is the is the key to victory. You know, we have seen it was really looking grim for us. We were losing a lot. We lost Gandalf multiple times. We lost three parts of the wall. We lost almost all our castle, but we had a lot of map control and a lot of money. That was the reason why we were actually kind of staying alive. Okay. So now we can move on from both the sides and sandwich him. I don't know if he actually was able to buy the castle. I don't know how much money he got. It's Isengard. Isengard has also lots of money. You know, with the vestation, with Field of Fires, with the, with the industry. You should be growing rich. We have also Rohan summon in the worst case scenario. Um, but I don't, I don't think we need it. So all we gotta do is just destroy this outpost and I think we are victorious. We have so much money. Holy moly, guys. I mean, we just bought the castle from the opponent and demolished it right after. And we have still over 2,500. Okay, so let's get all the settlements. I want the map to be red. That's our color, you know what I'm saying? The blood of Isengard. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. He was not able to buy the castle yet. Uh, that's good for me because now I can just kill the pikes and that's good. Oh, he has towers. Okay. Now we can actually summon the Rohirrim and finish off the castle. Uh, finish out, uh, finish out, uh, say it, uh, the outpost. Oh, man. This game was actually pretty exhausting, guys. Not gonna lie. It was looking really bad, but great comeback. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think those kind, of, those kind of games are more fun for me to play as well. Because you don't know what's going to happen until the very late game. And you have seen... Uh, I think the proof here is the, the reason why I was able to win is because of map control. Because of the money income. And you will see also after the game how much more money I had in compared to the Isengard. Which is a faction that should have much more money than Gondor. But we were having just a better time for the, for the map control fights. And he wanted to finish off the game as soon as possible. Which is a right call, but it was not working out. And Mel Gibson... The Patriot has been defeated. And we have 15,000 more than Mel Gibson. That's a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was, this was enjoyable for you. If it was, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more content like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. As always, hit like a truck and stay beyond standards. Peace out.